So we start this video, should I be like, Ahoy, mateys! How would you greet each other as pirates? What do you say? Hi. Hi. <laughs> Because we all know each other. That's that's <laughs> that's your typical pirate greeting. Only the real diamonds. Not not thar she blows or any of that. Yeah, then, well, then the answers were. Yeah. <laughs> not most of us know each other, so it's just hey, how you doing? We don't get into character until we're start until we're dealing with the public, yeah. and not all of us get into there, character. There's a great then. deal of vasting going on. Well, once we're we're out in public, but it was just you know, you know we're all just sitting around someplace. Hey, what's going on? All right, so that's how we're going to start the show. Hey, what's going on? This is Tiki with Ray. Ah! <laughs> so the reason why we're all wearing pirate hats today, well, these are, are these all, are these all tricorn hats? Or you're wearing the no, tricorn? Mine, no, mine isn't. Yours is. The one you're wearing What is. kind of hat is that? This, I don't know. It's a pirate hat. Yeah, it's my pirate hat. It's the one I had made. One of two I had made. But I'm, I'm wearing a tricorn hat. And you're wearing a tricorn hat made of leather. This is Patrick Pina. Pina? Mm -hmm. Yes. And um, Mark Whitehead. And we're Again! In, and we're in, the, uh, <laughs> we're in the fuzzy smudge. And um, what we're going to talk about today is we're going to talk about pirates, tiki, and nautical. And how the three different subcultures have a lot of things that are related, but yet are separate. And okay. You and Patrick are both into essentially all three. Yeah. So <laughs> let's start from the beginning. Um, what's pirate culture all about? Like, how would you describe it? Uh, well, for me, it's just dressing up, putting on, you know, dressing up full pirate rig, the whole bit, the swords, the knives, the guns, er the whole thing, everything you see in a movie, that idea. Yeah. And then go, go somewhere and annoy the crap out of the local inhabitants and tattoo kids and throw candy at kids and... Basically, just be a pirate, the kind of pirate the public expects without really cutting somebody. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> they frown, the cops frown on that. They get pissy. So is there like, is there like, like pirate events? And oh, there's pirate events everywhere. Like meetups, I guess, if you want to say. <clears throat> yeah, yeah. There's, um, in January, next month, there's talk, um, A Pirate's Life for Us in Port Orchard. In June, now these are just the ones we go to. In June, there's uh, the Rusty Scupper Days at Westport. It's a three-day thing. Yeah. Um, the pirates, there's a couple of pirate groups that are in the Seattle St. Patrick Day Parade. We, we go to it occasionally. We're at, we've been there the last two or three years now. Yeah. Um, those are the ones we do. There's others. There's plenty of others. But those are the ones we basically do. And well, then I pirate up for SantaCon. Is there, is there like a lot of pirate themed bars out there? No. No. I know of... I know, I know of one that is on purpose. Yeah. And I know of one that the owner says it's a tiki bar, and I'm just, okay, it's got tiki's in it, but it looks like a pirate bar to me. Yeah. But it's his bar. It's, what it, it's whatever he thinks it is. Now, what about you? How long, how long have you been in the, into the whole pirate thing? <clears throat> well, I've kind of always liked it. Um, not in really a focused manner it's just been kind of an interest uh, but since my son uh, he's been into it for about five years now he's really into Pirates of the Caribbean and mm. his room's pirate theme and so that's kind of brought some of it to and so that's sort of oh yeah you, Pirates of the mind. Caribbean I mean yeah. that, 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 that film franchise is huge yeah but I'm guessing that that's not how you got into pirate though no I just like everything else I kind of got drug into it <laughs> well you're in the Navy what? Well, yeah, but well, is there I, wasn't, any, I wasn't a pirate. Is there any connection there? <laughs> no. Being on the deep, water. sailing the seven seas or no. being Looting on a boat? Ships. No. The only, the only time piracy kicks in for uh, being in the Navy is when you cross the equator, and then that's, there's the pirates, the shellbacks, and the, and the uh, slimy polywogs. So but no, there's no. not really pirates. So what you're, just, what you're saying, Mark, is there was no time while you were on, you are in the Navy, you thought like, yeah, this is cool, but this would be way, way better with a tricorn hat on. No, no. So how did you get into it then? Got drug into it. How did you? How, oh, your wife. Yeah. What's the? What's your wife's name? Ludy McCooter. Is that your name? Luder McCooter. Luder McCooter. <laughs> Luder McCooter. Yep. That's that's her. You mm -hmm. forgot the hand gesture. Hey. So obviously you're into tiki, Mark. <clears throat> but 
when did you get in? What came first, Tiki or Pirate? Tiki. Tiki. No. Okay. Pirates are fairly recent thing for us. Oh, okay, okay. So it sounds to me like when it comes to the whole pirate thing, it's more of a community kind of thing. It's more about... Oh, yeah. You, you're, it's all about... I don't want to say... Wearing a costume, would that be the best way to say it? Well, yeah, you costume up, rig up. We call it rigging up. Rigging up, okay. Um, but yeah, if, if you're out pirating, you're dressed for the occasion. You, know, you got the, the, the whole bit, the boots, the coat, the shirts. Yeah. The bling, the, the weapons. <laughs> drinking, the drinking rum, right? Well, something with rum in it. Yeah. <laughs> What about what about um, like parrots and stuff like that? Yeah, I've got a. I don't carry them around anymore, but I've got a stuffed parrot that I've had for years. A, a homemade stuffed parrot, not a real dead parrot. But I don't pack him around anymore. He lives in the in our sunroom upstairs now. That's crazy. That's crazy. And what came first for you, Patrick? The the tiki thing or the whole pirate thing? Hmm. Well. Uh... Like I said, my son's room has been set up pirate themed for a while now. Yeah. Um, but as far as tying that into my home bar, that's a fairly recent decision. I'd say probably a few months, not yeah. very long. Now, one thing, obviously, when it comes to the, like the whole pirate thing, you, you talk about a, well, it comes with a pirate ship. Mm -hmm. Well, then you have nautical. So, yeah. so there's like there's a whole nautical thing, like a nautical theme. I've seen more, so probably there's more nautical theme bars than there would be like a pirate bar. Oh yeah, nautical's a little easier because then it's just rope and some wood, and you're kind of there. <laughs> Essentially, a kind couple of, of pulleys here and there. Pirates are a little tougher to pull off. How so? Why? Well, well, if you go, if you want a theme up to look like a pirate ship, you're going to need cannon. Which also means you need cannon ports, which means you need a place to put all of this. Yeah. And cannons take up a lot of room. <laughs> well, we've got like three or four, and they're taking up their fair share of room. Yeah. No, wait, did you get into pirates from eating at Long John Silver's? <laughs> no, I'm not, I don't remember exactly how we started that. <laughs> that's yeah, that's what sparked my interest. So it's interesting that you think that, it, like, because I, I was just going to say, like, it seems to me the jump from being something that being like a nautical theme kind of thing to doing pirate wouldn't be that hard, but you're saying that there's... It's not, it's not hard, but you have to be prepared to shell out, you know, find room for some bigger ticket items. If you, you know, if you want to go full blown. Yeah. If you want to just, you know, kind of, sort of, then put a stick in the ground, call it a mass, put a, raise a flag, raise a, <laughs> raise a sail. I, one thing I noticed a lot is there's a lot of, there's a lot of people I know that are into tiki... And they're in the pirate, and they're into nautical all at the same time. Sure. And there's a lot of things that definitely overlap. But where do the roads don't intersect? Like, what, first of all, like, obviously when it comes to, because I've been to, have you ever been to the Tonga Room in San Francisco? No. There's, a, it's a tiki bar. It's a big tiki no. restaurant, but there's the mast. That, it's like you're on a pirate ship in one part. Uh, the Devil's Reef definitely has, what would you call that, nautical? Uh, no, I, that Devil's Reef I would call pirate. That would be called pirate because yeah. they have the the. They, they got the guns and the gun ports, and it it just looks pirate. Yeah, is there um? But would you say there? But what would could could there be pirate and tiki like a pirate tiki bar? Yeah, Devil's Reef. So Devil's Reef. Yeah. Okay. They've got the tiki. They got the tiki vibe going. I mean, as soon as you walk in, the first well, the first things you see is this big old honk of tiki. It's yeah. about the size of Patrick. <laughs> <laughs> and then they've got, they've got the pirate thing going. So. That's as close to a mix as I've, as I've ever run into. Yeah. Hmm. If, and for Jason and them, it worked, and, you know, it's a nice job. It worked really well. Yeah. So do you think, you definitely think that the two can, the two can mix? Oh, sure. Okay. Oh, I, what do you think? There's no reason. I absolutely agree. Yeah. But when does, uh, when does the whole pirate thing just become pirate and then it's not Tiki? Is it, is it just, a, is it literally just having the Tiki's in the, in the equation? So well, we, it depends on who you're, you know, at the, I, yeah, I don't know. I don't know that there is a spot where it is and it isn't. Yeah. You know, if there's absolutely zero kind of tiki influence yeah. at all, well, then clearly it's, there's no tiki at all. Yeah. Well, like, one thing but, I keep I'm thinking about is, like, you're outside, you're, you're, you're creating, like, a more of a pirate theme kind of uh, yeah. thing where you got, you got your skeletons, you got, like, definitely all pirate, but to me that didn't seem too far away from, like, what being, like, what tiki would be. Well, there's also some tiki's out there. Yeah. Some of the pier mm -hmm. posts have tiki's on them. There's a couple of big ones sitting up against against the house. Yeah. So it's it's going to be a mix, but it's going to lean more towards pirate. Yeah. Have you ever? There's a place down in Phoenix, Arizona called Undertow. Mm -hmm. Okay. Yep. And it's a it's a 
would you consider that pirate deacon? Because the whole idea is like... Well, it, not it, so much pirate as nautical, because there's not squat for pirate. Anymore. Oh, so that's more, more nautical. Yeah, because there, okay. there's anything in there that, that, that spoke pirate to me. Okay. I don't, but it, it, it looked like the hold of a cargo ship, which tells me nautical. Well, okay. With some tiki, and it's, it's a great little bar. The decorations work just fine. Plus, they went very high end on their wall decorations, uh, their portholes. There, the scenes change. If you want, if you're willing to stand there long enough to watch it, you'll oh, see the scene really cool. of the portholes yeah. change. Yeah, supposedly, like when you go there, it's like you're in. It's like a trip. Yeah, kind of. Yeah, yeah. You go down basically a shipboard type ladder into the basement of the building, and you're in a ship hold. Supposedly, cool. the place used to be like a jiffy loop or something like that. Oh yeah, yeah. You're, <laughs> like the place is literally yeah, the like the bars down in the pit. Yeah, you oh, go no down kidding. into like yeah. the pit and where the uh, where the the guys would go and yeah. change your oil. And yeah, they they wow, opened up the that's pit, took out cool. the, the separating walls, and that's where the bar is. The place like literally, it's a wonderful it. place. Yeah. So I think I think one point too. I mean, again, it, it kind of personal uh, tastes. Um, you were mentioning, you know, Devil's Reef being fairly more pirate geared too is uh i think lighting plays a big part in that too because awesome. I, I have a hard yeah. time picturing a really well lit nautical themed bar looking very pirate like to me the you know the dark stained wood the dark lighting yeah uh obviously the rigging roping and stuff like that that they have uh definitely adds to it but i to me and again it's just personal choice to me it seems like uh a dark a darker style older style dark tiki bar would be a little easier to pull off more of a pirate blend than something really well lit, you know, like a more of a, a Margaritaville type bar. I would have a really hard time pulling that off, in my in my opinion. I mean, yeah. yeah. Um, but that that's something that I think plays a big factor in that is to have that kind of darkness too, that kind of dark dampness. Was, it would the reef also cool. helps. He's got the lights on the ceiling mm -hmm. uh, that kind of look like you're looking at well the surface of the ocean from under it. Yeah, yeah that's so that's a big cool. help pulling off the pirate thing yeah. too. I think it's safe to say that the three different subcultures are definitely very, very closely related. Sure. Yeah. yeah. And they're, they're, they're easy to blend. And it's only literally you take you a couple items, a couple things that can make it more tiki or not tiki or more nautical and not pirate. Like for example, like uh, like undertow. Mm -hmm. You know, I would have thought like, oh, that's like a pirate bar, but. You're right. There is no pirate icon uh, iconography in there. It's just yeah, more. I, I just you're in a ship. That, that said pirate to me, but it's still just a wonderful setup. It's yeah. Beautiful. Same thing with the Devil's Reef. Like if you took out all the, the tiki, uh, if you took out the tiki's. Yeah, and it wouldn't take very long because there's not a lot in there. What's in there is very definite. Yeah. This would go stuff up on the wall there by the at the end of the bar, mm -hmm. and the, the the big tiki's out towards the entrance. But his lights on his bar are on little miniature pier posts, so they look like pier side lighting. Yeah. Well, that's very cool. Yeah, they're all very, very, I think they're all very, very related, but yet different at the same time. Sure. Yeah. I'd agree with that. Yeah. So, yeah, there you go, people. If you're fighting about whether this is tiki or if this is pirate or pirate is not tiki, well, it's all so close together. Yeah. You know. It's not worth the fight. It just. That's a dumb thing to argue about. If that's the best you've got. Yeah, and, and, and I'll tell you this, Mark. At the end of the day, even like when it comes down to tiki bars, I want a full environment. Yeah. Um, I want, I'm more impressed with like you walk into a place and you're like, oh my God, wow. You mm -hmm. can definitely tell that the owner took a lot of time and effort and put into this place. Like, for example, like uh, the Dark Manor, which is that, that haunted house bar that's up in Vancouver. Mm -hmm. You know, Rodmore, the shameful tiki room. Made it. I've never really had an interest in haunted houses, but I love that place. Oh. I love it because it's like you go in there and it feels like you're in, a, in an old Victorian haunted house. That's awesome. So give me a full environment. I mean, the thing that I find amazing is just like you're saying is that there isn't a lot of pirate themed bars, which to me it seems uh, like it'd be a, a no brainer. It seems like, right, yeah. it seemed like it'd be an easy thing to like, oh, well, because if you're going to talk about a themed bar, yeah, it seems like a real simple one. Yeah. With collecting cannonballs is easy. Just go buy, uh, well, it really is. Go buy a bunch of uh, plastic bowling balls, paint them puppies black, glue them together, boom, you got a pile of cannonballs. Yeah. That's what we did. Yeah. Nice. <laughs> nice. Our skeletons hanging in the gibbets out there mm -hmm. are your basic plastic skeletons. Back to like we were talking on, on another show, you know, go cheap. You don't have to buy fancy. Yeah. No. We could have bought the gazillion hundred dollar <clears throat> skeletons, but why? They're going to be on the rain and be ruined. Yeah. Yeah, exactly. So, how do how so how should we say goodbye 
as far as pirate talk is concerned, or pirate speak. See you later. Thank you, Jared. <laughs> <laughs>So what's the best way to start off the show? What the, what, the, what did the pirates say? Hey, how's it going? <laughs> I don't know. You're the expert. I'm not the expert. You are now. We voted. Well, there's always a lot of arguing and arguing. I don't think I ever have arguing and arguing. A vast. <coughs> a vast just scupper lip and hoochie doody. You're changing your mind on this pirate thing, aren't you? Yeah. I can see the wheels turning. No, I just think it's funny. It's like, <laughs> what, uh, what, what's your name again? What's your, what's Hooter your pirate McCooter. name? Looter McCooter. Hooter McCooter? No, Looter McCooter. Looter McCooter. Looter McCooter. Looter McCooter. Looter McCooter. Looter McCooter. Like my cooter. Yeah. Thanks. Thanks. <laughs> Bring these things on you. <laughs> just I like how you did this, too. <laughs> the... the <laughs> hey gang, this is Tiki with Ray, and I just want to say thank you very much for checking out my video. I hope you enjoyed it. And if you want to see more episodes, click on the subscribe button. And if you like the video, give it a like. That would mean a lot to me. And if you have any comments or suggestions, please leave a comment in the, uh, the comment section below.